You'll always be a shorter hitter than you wanna be if you keep making these mistakes. Welcome to a brand new video. I'm Alex, I'm a PJ Gold professional, and this is today's comment. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below what you're struggling with. Let's get into today's video. Now, the first things first, why are you a short hitter? And it's really important that you do understand this in order to improve it. And this works with your irons and your driver. Okay, you won't believe this, but have a look at this, right? Most of us who hit it short, and I've been guilty of this in the past, is as we come into impact, we're adding loft and our wrists are making this motion. Let me show you that again. Our wrists are making this motion. Now, if our wrists are making this motion, have a look down on the ground at what our club face is doing. Have a look at those, right? Let's say for argument's sake, my driver has 10 degrees on it. It's now probably got about 20, something more like one of our hybrids. And I've turned my five iron into a seven iron. Now, if you strike that out the middle, that's gonna go very high. It's gonna have a lot of spin and it's not gonna go anywhere near as far as you're capable of. So nice and simple. Big mistake is wrists work this way and it adds loft to your golf club. Adding loft just goes higher, not longer. Okay, let's get into it. Now, by the end, we want to make our wrists into this position, okay? That's what we're looking to do. Now, if you have a look at my golf club on the ground now, look what that's done to the loft of my club. That's taken loft off. We've turned like my five iron in something like a five and a half iron, close to a four iron. And if you do that with every club, that's how you're gonna compress the golf ball. Really, really wanna compress it. Okay, have a look at these shots on the screen. This is where you're gonna to get to by the end. Driver shot, going a little bit further. And then from face on, you can see my left wrist being a little bit flatter. And again, the same with the iron. The iron shot going a little bit further. And from face on, getting that compression and, and maybe just pause them as well like it's good sometimes just to watch it see it and you can start to picture what you're going to do but this is now how you're going to train it in the drill i want you to do with your irons is place a t-peg in that ground we're out there okay roughly like sort of three fingertips in front now the objective here is we're going to try and hit a punch shot where we take the ball and the t-peg out this will really feel like you're starting to compress. Now, as well as focusing on taking that T-peg out, on that punch shot follow through, I want you to try and finish around hip height and get that feeling. Now, have a look at that there. That is exactly what I want you to get. Look at that. And again, go back to that club face as well. If I put that down towards the ball now, look how I'm taking loft off, as opposed to where we started was somewhere around here. Right, time to test it and hit this away. You won't believe this. Now the recipe for hitting it longer with less effort is to hit up on the golf ball, number one. Second is to not add loft. And the third one is to find the middle. Have a look at this brilliant drill. All you're gonna need is your two of your range balls and have a quick look at this down on the ground. This is how I've set it up. It's just wide enough to place two golf balls either side, okay? of my club head. I've then placed a T-peg in front. I call this the drag drill. We're gonna be looking to drag our club through here and work it up over this front T-peg. It's gonna help train dynamic. It's gonna help train hitting up. It's gonna help train you not adding loft. Right, you have to have a look at this from the face-on perspective. You really learn loads here. Now, this is how I want you to do the drill. Address in between those golf balls as if that is where your ball was actually teed up. I then want you just to place the club outside your right foot as I have there. First move, open up the hips, drag the club through the gate and up and over. Now have a look what scenarios I was creating there. Everything that looks powerful and dynamic and the opposite to where we started. I want you just to do three to five drag drills of this, getting that feeling of being dynamic, getting that feeling of not scooping at the ball and then coming to hitting maybe five, 10 shots away. And don't worry, if you lose that feeling, because we all get this at different points, we're not gonna learn it straight away, some of us, some of us will, go back to your drill, bring it into your game. And all you're gonna try and do at a slow speed to begin with is emulate 
that feeling of the follow through. Oh, what a bullet. What a bullet that was. I need to do more of that. So thanks so much for watching today's video. This is seriously gonna help upgrade your power and your distance. And don't forget to subscribe.